all right hey everybody sorry about the uh the technical issues it was, it was a whole ordeal um but yeah we're here and uh yeah again we apologize uh we're here with uh system designer andy arts so we're going to talk about some cool new stuff that's going to go into the hot and hazy update uh on october 20th uh also that's the uh public tests which will be coming out later today in the evening uh, my name is Eric Dorbella, Community Manager here at Obsidian Entertainment. I'm joined by Shyla Schofield, who is the Social Media Manager. Uh, there's Andy Arts right in the center. You may uh, remember him from the one-year anniversary stream. And uh, Chris is running to his desk because we're having an issue with this computer over here. So uh, we'll be, Chris will be joining us shortly, and uh, we'll have to update his camera there. But uh, yeah, I hope, I hope everyone's excited. Hi. You mean he's not Hello. just there very uh, still-like? He's he is so still like Drax that he's invisible. I like that you kept the camera with his chair. You know, yeah, I just, it's, it's, a, it's a nice touch. It's it's a whole thing. <laughs> uh, hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, so we're gonna do we're gonna do something. We're gonna show off the new stuff and have Andy talk about all the new system stuff that's going into the update uh, towards the end of the stream. Uh, we'll, we'll probably be a lot sooner since uh, we are very behind. Uh, but we're going to spend our last day here in the dev stream or the dev world uh, where everyone has helped us uh, build awesome buildings, shrines, memorials, uh, killing all the things. Um, so we're going to we're going to spend one last day here because uh, after this week, we're going to start fresh. We're going to do a brand new save. Uh, we're going to uh, we're going to up the difficulty from medium to hard um, and, and hope we don't die a lot. So. There we go. All right. Just enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy Invisible Chris. <laughs> He'll be back. 
Yeah, he's he actually shrunk down, show up. but he can't really play because he's so tiny. <laughs> oh, let me turn uh, that off. Oh, he back? Stop it, Mikey. Please. Oh, did, did somebody say we're switching to hard? Yeah. We're, we're amping it up, my friend. I don't think Invisible Chris approves of this. That's All right, if you fine. turn on your camera, I... you're going to mess up everything. So let's stick with Invisible Chris. Okay, well, <laughs> Invisible Chris is good. I like it. No, it's nice. And I All would right. like to say I did promise Eric that if we switch to hard, I will do my best not to randomly hit you guys because I know health is a hot commodity on hard. <laughs> Sometimes, oh, like, it just happens. You can't help it. I mean, I can try to cut back. Sometimes we need to be hit with an ant club. It's okay. Also, I am very upset on this Felicia landing pad. Very upset. This is where I started, and all it is is clover leaves. <laughs> Running over to you guys. I started. I don't know what you're talking Somewhere about. very far away. Perfect. Uh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss this world, guys. Look at all this yeah. awesome thing people built with us. It's, oh. Eric, I had an idea. Yeah. I should have asked this soon because we're going to start over just like we were asking other people to. That means that we're going to have to pick a new base location. Should we put a poll together on Discord? And uh, yeah. The community to help us Ooh. pick a new base location? We'll, we'll have to figure cool. that out because uh, Discord, uh, if I don't, I, maybe I'm mistaken. I don't recall a Discord able to do polls. So we'll have to, we'll have to do like a straw yeah. poll or something. Okay, or a, I can put it on Twitter. And yeah, we can do a post Twitter it. poll. Yeah. Yeah, Twitter poll. Boom. There you go. Easy peasy. So we, yeah, Even we can easier. have more options because this way they get to help us pick, and we get to pick four areas, but then they get to choose the ultimate one. Oh, little, little I, lake house, like to... the pond house. Ooh. No. This one I ended up really nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. House. Zach really Zach Spurlock sp picked the spot. This is all yes. we're here because of him. Zach's a treasure. He Can is. I just say thank you also for leaving hoops available? Not hoops, I'm sorry, Willow, while I was gone. Of course. Pick up your mess. Oh, of course. Of course. Now you're just punching me. I literally came I up to say thanks, assistance. and now I've been struck to death. <laughs> thank you. It feels good yeah. to be home. What's going on, friends? Yeah, uh, if you just joined us, we're, we're going to spend one last time in Dev World hanging out with Whoa. Andy, who's Whoa. the system designer on Grounded. Uh, I think our plan is to... Well, what are we going to do? Are we gonna... Andy, what are we going to do today? I'm cleaning up these files. I got yes. it. I'll, nice. I'm just being oh, murdered constantly now. <laughs> I should have cleaned up before our guest got here. I'm are sorry. Guys, are you guys okay? This is yes. well, this is a Charlie stream. This, this is what happens. <laughs> oh wait, I thought I picked you up. I'm Willow. sorry. Willow. This is what I got to promise. I'm not gonna do too often because <laughs> just might as well get it out of your sure system that now. Was the end. Yep. Go ahead. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hang in there. You're gonna be okay. Oh my god. Is this what we're just Willow. doing? <laughs> you killed me. I didn't do that. You killed me. <laughs> I did not. Um, this is not what I expected. No. I'm running back to my body. <laughs> Let I'm gonna me put see here. these. You know, let's just let's just give away, give away off, right properly. off the bat. Why? Why yes, wait? Give giveaway. I That's a good idea. It. Let me let me set it up. It's an Andy with a rock. So uh, we're gonna do some special yeah, uh, giveaway today. Well, the the normal one is uh, we'll do a 30 day uh, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Game Key. Uh, so you yeah. can have Game Pass for 30 days for all the awesomeness. And then the second so giveaway is gonna yeah. be the Puncho Pint. So that that's uh, available to everybody. Uh, but also uh, make sure you are following the uh, channel to channel. win. Yes. Oh, this is really nice. This like, roofed walkway out into the yeah, the pretty cool huh? path. Like, this is this have, is a really yeah. good job. Have you seen the bathrooms? There's oh bathrooms. yeah. Oh yes. yeah. Oh, they're, they're not ours. Awesome. We don't own the rights to them. But... <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, but, what uh, does that mean? We didn't. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> they they were crafted by yeah. We'll just uh, we'll just do a tour of uh, all the our content creator guests who came in. But yeah. Uh, two girls, also... one game, built this beautiful bathroom. Nice, nice. Ooh. Right. See? You got, you got a toilet seat. You got some lighting. If you turn around, there's the mirrors and the sink with the soap dispensers. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. That's really nice. It's really good. It's really good. And then, um, 
Wait, wait, wait. Did you Andy you didn't just wash your hands, line? Andy? Well, he, I mean, he didn't just oh, always wash your hands, everybody. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> wash your hands, please. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, can you take Andy for a ride on the zip line? Oh yeah. I want him to oh yeah. Him. Before before we head out, here's the bull skunk mosquito umbrella, as he likes I to call this. it. Yeah, it's ingenious. Not doesn't work so good against fireflies, but mosquitoes it works uh, eighty percent of the time every time. I've heard that Mark II <laughs> is in the works, so you know we can expect something. Soon. This is the uh, oh, cool. tiny pirate gaming guest house. Uh, since oh, we gosh. updated the clay textures and uh, models, uh, it got a little got a little funky. Um, but it's a pretty nice Still little guest cool, house. Though. Still yeah. cool, though. Still cool. Yeah. Uh, Shia and I built this outhouse um, during our uh, our build-off competition. It was me and Shia versus class uh, Chris and uh, Jade PG. He nice. built the, the the piles silo over there, which we converted into a zipline tower. I like that there's a chair facing a newspaper article. Yeah, I didn't make it a genius uh, toilet like uh, Snow Witchy and Survivor did. Yeah. But there's, there's that could all, be our there's, thinking room. Yeah. Yeah. And then time. over, if you want to head over to the pond over here. Mm. Mm. Not the pond, but the flooded mm. area. But this is the uh, floating gazebo made from uh, Gopher Gaming and Shayification when they came nice. over. Nice. We never finished the table. But, you know, maybe we'll, okay. we'll do that. I mean, I think I've got a bunch of clovers on me. Yeah, so do I. I don't know the other parts. <laughs> there's an emergency. Uh, there's, a, there's, there's a soggy bridge. It's not Remember soggy bridge. Yeah. Oh, this yes. part's not so soggy. Okay, but the other part's soggy. The other part's yeah. too soggy, so it kind of <laughs> makes up for it. <laughs> and then uh, you see the pumpkins back in the game. You'll find uh, candy yeah. corns back in the game. Uh, we have a. Uh, if you look, if you look at the the HUD, the brown spider is the wolf spider hotel. Mm -hmm. And then we have. Uh, I see. I see. And then we have Miles, the wolf spider shrine over by the oak tree, which you haven't got to. But let's let's head over to uh the zip line careful yeah. make please make sure you're at full health otherwise um mm -mm. you're no, not no, you're, okay. you're fine you're fine all right. um, i'll risk it that's fine yeah 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 let me There's get like secret honey do under the house <laughs> we have some nice... aphids trapped well, they, they're obviously happy because they're just There's leaving a honeydew. lot of secret honeydew yeah. under the house. <laughs> you leave our house alone. This doesn't seem right. It's safe, <laughs> and they have plenty of clovers <laughs> growing underneath, so. Yay! All right. It's a lovely view up here today. All right, here it is. I finally made it. Non motion sickness style. Yay! You should let Andy go first. Yeah, of course. Yay! Thank you. I'm slowly making my way up the spiral stairs. <laughs> this, this is a was big all, tower. This, this was all built legitimately. Yeah. I may, I may not make it to the zip line, so I'm going to zip down this before. Is the best ever! Yeah! Oh, okay. Help me out! <laughs> nice wave, Shiloh. Me. Oh, you died. <laughs> oh, no, he, 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 uh, no, no, I, he just forgot to eat. Thirsty. He was thirsty. Yeah. I see, yeah. I see. Who's next? Oh, my God. I can make it. I can make it. Ooh. Hydration is the key to oh. Oh. This is not good. Please I'm help. alive. Let me help, Willow. <laughs> Thanks for So is the purpose of that zip line to um. die? No. You know, it was originally to be a good zip line, and then it was our, I see. It was our things test. get away from us yeah. sometimes. It was, it was a yeah, test zip line. It was our first tower, really? our first zip yeah. line. So I just I just set it up here. Yeah, um, I got stuff all the time that ends up. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> I mean, look how no, tall I, that tower is, though. It, exactly. it looks great. Yeah. That's and I mean, this nice. should be a great case for the ability to craft a padded wall. Mm. There you go. Crash pad, okay. or a, yeah. or a, a wall-mounted trampoline. Oh jeez, <laughs> wow. that would be interesting. That away. would be very interesting. <laughs> I would love to see what people could come up with a with a yeah, you, vertical trampoline. You could get them facing each other, and then you could just have someone zip line, and they would be stuck there forever. They'll be uh, Austin powering it when he's trying to get that little cart out of that little hallway. Oh my God, that <laughs> would be so good. Limbo. They'd never be able to log because oh. they were constantly moving. What if we made a hallway of them and <gasps> one person ran through it like a gauntlet, but then the rest of us threw pebbles at them? Ooh. It's like a weird little mini game. I like yeah. that. Yeah. 
Mr. B. That's good. I love the eyes. All right, let's yes, do. Let's, let's roll it. Thing. Who's who's gonna win this key today? <gasps> hey. Uh, the Phoenix of Hell. Congrats. Nice. Congratulations. Congratulations. I don't know Phoenix is down there, but it's good to know. Well, there's fire down there. It makes sense. <gasps> yeah, that's. I mean, you're, you're right, Andy. Absolutely right. <laughs> You know, Andy, I, uh, in case people who don't know who Andy Arts is, uh, Andy, why don't you introduce yourself and let the people know what you do uh, at Obsidian on Grounded. Hello, I am Andy. I am the assistance designer for Grounded, which means pretty much like anything gameplay oriented will have to go through me at some point, whether it's like design or implementation or iteration or something else. Um, so yeah, I just kind of am responsible for everything you may like or dislike from the gameplay side. <laughs> Andy, do you like hard games? Uh, yeah, a lot. Very much. Why, why do you I, ask? I, I have a feeling because I remember when we were in Early Access where a lot of people were like, this game is really hard. Yeah, it's been kind of tough for me to uh, basically balance around what people want as opposed to like what i think is okay um but the team is really helpful in that regard where i'll be like hey i made this new creature like try it out and everyone's like is this even possible no. <laughs> okay i should i should tune it down <laughs> andy is um, burgle confirmed it seems, it seems great <laughs> hashtag blame andy honestly feel free blame me if it makes you feel better i guess andy i think it's in a i think it's in a great spot now yeah. yeah, we're there getting there. No, it yeah, feels good. Make an Andy difficulty. That would be neat. Yeah. <laughs> difficulty after you. <laughs> I could do that. Well, yeah. I don't know if I should spend my time doing that, but I could think about it. Oh, Andy, can you yeah. make an Andy difficulty? That's what old school dude yeah. wants. Yeah. It's, I'll write it down. <laughs> <laughs> like, we, well, we have a record of it now. So. It'll be like permadeath mode, That's right? True. Like your save gets deleted yeah, yeah, yeah. if you die. Yeah, you have to buy the game again. No. <laughs> oh well, thankfully, if you play on Xbox Game Pass, you don't need to buy the game. You can That's play true. with the subscription. Yeah, yeah it, it deletes your subscription. Yeah. So you got to resell. <laughs> but if you do want to buy the game, you can buy it on the Windows Store or Steam for twenty nine ninety nine. Go check it out. I like how Andy's just testing the durability of our base by oh, I'm just like hitting, stuff. hitting a pebblet on everything. Is this what you do when you get invited over to places? You start well, just breaking like, everything? When I don't know what to do, I just like, I don't know, I start doing stuff with my hands. Jump, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, Crimzone asked if the, the new update mess with the current saves, and the answer is no. So I guess this is a good opportunity for me to, to clarify what I mean when we, we highly recommend or suggest everyone start a new save for the public test. Uh, many, it's not because your old saves are not gonna work or you know, there there may be a small chance that your saves may get corrupted, you know, because it happened in the past before. It hasn't lately, so, you know, fingers crossed. But the, the point of us asking everybody to start a new save uh, is mainly to get feedback on, on the new features that have been implemented into the Hot and Hazy update. Um, so the way the new features work up with, like, um, the brain power, uh, the way how things get analyzed has been changed. Um, but if you're, if you're just going to load up your old save or your current save, it's just going to... Uh, propagate that data for you automatically, but it's just mainly is we really want to get feedback from everybody. Yeah, and then to kind of expand on that a little bit, there's also been some kind of recipe restructuring. So like, you won't be able to get the mint mallet as easily anymore. So getting some kind of data and feedback on the creature scale pre and post weapons like that um, is really useful. So like, if you load into your game right now, you can just kind of go through the content with all the equipment you've created so far, which might be more than is intended with the restructure. So it's just something to to help us out with yeah. like data. Basically. You all were becoming too powerful. Chris, so yep. you, mind, you mind not destroying the base? No, so I want to point this out. I didn't notice this because we never damage anything, but look at the wear you get. So you can kind of age your base a little bit. I know, but we like we, it's starting to <laughs> yeah, but it's, we're not destroying the base completely. We're just adding oh, some anti. You know, you make all oh, the, the wrenches the and you repair states. everything. Yeah, like sir. The, it's really subtle. It's nice though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we uh, Sean Donnie made damage states for everything, and it's I really it's, like it. I mean, so really we cool. can kind of change yeah. the color of the base too, you know. Well, not you too, Andy. Make it look a little older. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm a bad influence. <laughs> you know what? No, You'll do be it. a pile pal in no time. Yeah. 
I disagree. There you go. We'll take care hand. of that. Thanks. Right. Apologies, everyone. Thanks, Eric. Had a, it's had a, a great had building a, environment. Remove the tumor, if so you so to speak. Oh. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> it's not a tumor. <laughs> well. What's up, Ozzy? That was a near death experience. Uh, I saw someone for friend. Bonjour. Comment ça va? That's all I remember from French from high school. It, it was really good. Thank yeah. you. Oh, merci yeah, beaucoup. I, I believed it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, those are probably words. Yeah, Chris is just playing. You're tired? I'm yeah, sorry. Right. I'm just um, decorating a little. I'm adding. Right, some... Sorry, we're kind of just been roaming around, but uh, but yeah, that's the reason why we we suggest people to start start over mainly because um, to experience the new uh features with fresh eyes and to get feedback from everybody. Yes. Looks like the stream might have gone down. Oh no, refresh. You're fine. Okay. Why didn't you? Oh yeah, you reload. A, uh... Reload the player. Yeah. Why do you guys have a tombstone of an aphid that was not named? Oh. I don't want to talk about okay, that. Okay. So. <laughs> so what happened? Yeah. So what happened was, I I tamed an aphid, um, okay. and we didn't have a, our houses yet, and um. As as we just tamed the aphid, Shyla kind of went on a little killing spree. Oh no! Uh, and then I didn't have a chance to name it, so it's just it's just aphid. So rest rest in peace, okay. aphid, our nameless yeah. nameless friend. Yeah. <laughs> but we got Walter here. Uh, Alfie yeah. kind of disappeared. I don't know what happened to Alfie. He might have been in cahoots with those weevils that were plotting against us under the corner of the house. So. He also did. So he you might see, be. If you see a, uh, if you see an aphid with uh, grub goggles, that's that's Alfie. I'll keep an eye out. We should put him on a little milk carton. Find him. Um, but yeah, for those that's who really are good. here and don't want spoilers, we're switching over to a dev build, so you may see some bugs, uh, some graphical issues, uh, some icons missing um, because uh, we're on we'll be on a dev build showing off. Uh, all the new features are going to go into the next uh, public test update. The cool new stuff. So, uh, Andy, what is the like your most favorite part about working on this game? Like a thing you've designed, or an idea, or kind of anything? Like something um, that you really had your hand in, and you were like, "Yes." So, I mean, my favorite part about being on this game in particular is that we kind of just have a, a lot of freedom to try things that we think sound cool. Um, and like, you know, we can put some effort in, prototype something out, and then go like, ah, never mind, this might not be worth it. Or, um, catch my breath. you know, if, it, Peter, if there's something there, we can go, hey, okay. team, like, I made this thing, try it out and let me know if it's, like, worth developing further. And then if it is, like, the team gets behind it and we all work together to make it real. Like, it's a really unique experience where we're just kind of, like, able to talk to each other and make stuff we want which mm -hmm. isn't the normal game dev team experience uh which is cool but like more specifically a uh, a thing that i really really like and that started in that way where i just kind of prototyped something and was like is this even worth doing and then it kind of spiraled is uh the new the new mini boss fight i'm really excited about that no spoilers though i'm i'm not saying anything that's cool so yeah, it's like the freedom of experimentation and then the support behind it yeah yeah and a lot of times like you can just and this might sound normal to some people but you can just like directly message a team member and go like hey what do you think of this and then they're like hey that sounds cool i can you know make the art for that in less than a day and then like all of a sudden the ball is rolling instead of like having to go through all these weird pipelines Real quick before we continue still talking, can we gear up and go on a danger dumpling harvest spree since it's our last time in this world? Yeah. You want to yeah. get some equipment? Want to take the, so if you go to the mushroom building, that's our arena or not arena, our armory. Yep. Oh. You can grab whatever you want from there. Are we, are we brood mothering or are we just going to go bunch, kill a bunch of wolfies? We can either or. Do we have enough like a. Uh, Stuff for the I mean, with Andy here, oh, yeah. we should I got, win I got hands BLT down, right? right? Cool. cool. Let's not go. Oh, Let's not get on. our expectations <laughs> too high. It'll be fun. Yeah. So, be although, fine. I be want fine. a better club. It can't be any worse than our previous attempts. You say that, but... Nope, I get an ant club. <laughs> let, me, let me dump some stuff here. I don't remember, remember having all this stuff on me. 
I have no bandages. We have a ton of arrows if anyone wants any arrows. We have some bombs. Oh yeah, well, you have a lot of arrows. There's a lot of spider armor over here. We stay busy. I mean, you know, this around. doesn't have any of the changes, right? No. No, 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 no. no. Okay, okay, okay. So we can talk about that later because I think I know what you're getting at with the spider armor and I'm super mm. stoked. <laughs> Do we feel like heal bosses or just bandages? You want to try Both. hard? Both? All right. I'll whip some more. I like heal bosses a lot. Yeah, there's plenty Those of Those are something that ended up being really a lot cooler than I thought. Nice. Well, while we were making them, I was like, I'm not really sure about these, but then after we no, play tested them a bit, it's like, yeah, they are great. My favorite part is Shiloh. when I tried to heal everyone when I'm wearing the Broodmother mask. Oh, that's oh, fun. Yeah, that's so much fun. I think I fixed that. <laughs> oh, did you? We what? weren't sure if it was... I, I would like to point out, Eric just punched me. A while Where is ago, he? And I, and I got poisoned. Oh, I did have the mask. I took the mask off, yeah. but yeah. yeah. That's, so that's <laughs> intended. The, the Broodmother mask should add poison to all of your attacks, but Perfect. since the Hilbasa was technically an attack that healed you, mm -hmm. it was adding poison to that. I think I fixed that, and if not, like, probably we'll should. Well, made for some really fun <laughs> moments, so. Yeah. That's that's good. At least it made, like, some fun stories for a while, right? All right, let's yeah, do we it. Should, we should nap before trying to traverse the hedge. <laughs> I got a torch. You fine. No. All right, all right. I'm going to sleep in the, the Tiny Pirate Gaming guest house. I just filled up on food, too. I know. I was like, darn it. <laughs> I guess I'll sleep I in our house by myself for the last that. night. Okay. Andy, no. <laughs> I'm in the house. <laughs> oh, all right, cool. Sweet. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Moon Glorious. Uh, yes, yeah, please save my you. mustache. Oh no, no, don't save it. No, yeah, yeah. We're not. We're not. No, I'm not no. dying. Uh, my mustache. Or lack of mustache. This is a very thin mustache. I mean, I'm pretty uh, sure we've colors. got. <laughs> we've got audio somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean. I'm gonna eat for my last meal. We can figure it out. Your last meal. That sounds so grim. No, I mean, like, you know, it's the, you're moving out, you're saying goodbye. Does anyone have any bandages I can have? I have eight. Oh, and I there's still plenty some. available to craft, yeah. I'm going to go into the bathroom to make some smoothies. Ooh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Please don't make smoothies in your bathrooms, everybody. <laughs> That's I mean, where the smoothie stations are. <laughs> yeah. Some mornings you wake up, you got to make a smoothie, shower, and get ready all in one I go. am Sam. Thank you. <laughs> Here's Shyla. Here's the, uh. Thank you. You're welcome. See, now that would be cool is if during combat or any time, I could go and actually use my bandages to heal someone else up. Like a field yeah, medic? Yeah, so we're, we're looking into like different ways. That's what, what the heal bossa is go. made for. It's like mm -hmm. ways to kind of play a more support and like healer character. Okay. Um, So we there's, we're definitely looking into like more additional items that help you do that. Perfect. Because, yeah, I typically play healers, but since there is none, I am, I guess, a barbarian right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I almost wonder if there is more ways to heal if I would just switch my play style during the streams to that. <laughs> I, I think ideally for me, if you wanted to play a healer, you would be able to. So that's definitely <laughs> something I'll look into. Because that's kind of like what I want to support. It's like whatever play style you want to do. Oh, no. There's a path for that. <laughs> oh, I'm coming out. Did you fall? Uh, I think my my dandelions expired. <laughs> I forgot. I oh, you... dandelion. <laughs> oh, dandelions. That would have been a smart play. Yep. Yeah, that, I just turned around to grab some. Can you grab um, all of us? Four? Yeah, we'll grab as many awesome. as you guys have yeah, in these belly. chests, which is a lot actually. So never mind. I'll grab four. <laughs> but yeah, a healer and then yet. a fist fighter would be cool. I know we need some fist weapons. There's, Andy. there's good news in that regard. <laughs> Next, cool. we can wait for Eric, know me. All right, like my yeah. <laughs> Please, we'll you know we'll discuss this off stream. We'll, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, okay. I'm intrigued now. <laughs> I love punching things. It's my favorite me? thing to do in games. So I would be very sad if I was not able to make that happen in this game. <laughs> Brass knuckles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, there's been, uh, there's been, I think someone drew some fan art or concept art for Brass Knuckles, or it was an acorn knuckles with the, like, thistle spikes. Dude, oh, the thistle spikes. I was just thinking of, like, the larva spikes. Oh, okay. Because they make yeah. it to where they're thicker oh, you and can make gouge them. it out. 
Oh my god. <laughs> or like cut off the tips of the mosquitoes so that way you can spike your gloves with that and you get healing power. Yeah. Right? Or you yeah. get some uh, berry or... leather to make some boxing gloves. That'd yeah. Pretty cool. That'd be cool. Way know. back in uh, in like the prototype stage of development, I made some some sock and boppers out of like ant butts. <gasps> and it was like, I remember that. It was pretty fun. <laughs> um, they didn't go anywhere though. Not yet, Here. Andy. Oh. Not yet. There's always, okay, always cool. the possibility. You have I a larva on your That's mind. cool. The cool thing about, you know, you and the team and being in, uh, you know, game preview early access, you guys have a lot of freedom to just experiment and try things. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Here, I brought dandelions for. Oh, Thanks. thank you. Eric, oh, I actually only brought three, so I just won't. No, oh no! I'm gonna Eric, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna. I mean, make it. I feel pretty confident about making it with that one too, but. I don't. I need one of those. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get this last one, Eric, or no? I'm already ahead of you guys, so it's, it's all. Oh, you. oh excuse, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long time since I've done the hedge. Cool. I love uh, your screen, Eric. But do we watch Andy do the hedge on Chris's? <laughs> Well, Andy's, if, well, if Andy can drive here real quick <laughs> on Chris's computer. Oh, that's right. Never mind then. This Chris takes a long time. Good old I can say tiny blobs. Right now, nobody would know. I take a long time? What? Where, where do you go? Follow, you, you follow, you follow me. Andy's forgot how to okay, traverse the edge. It's been Pass so me. long. I'm not good with directions. I had, I, I'm pretty sure I told this story on the anniversary stream, but I had to use GPS to get to work for like a year, even though it's oh. four miles from my house. Okay. <laughs> I don't feel so bad about doing that. I live a little <laughs> further, but I still use G, I use GPS for like three or four months when I finally came back, and then I was like, this is the day I'm going to do it. I just don't trust myself. I'm going to get fair. lost. I'm with you. I always check GPS just to see what my route's going to be, because I have like... Four different freeways to take to get to work, so I'm just, I'm just checking what what traffic's like. See, it's always busy by you, so let me just help you with that traffic report. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, and I hey, how traffic gonna be? Map quest, so you didn't have instant GPS. You had to know alternative routes, otherwise. Maybe you did not. You you are just joshing everyone right now. What did he say? He said he used GPS to walk to the office when he started, <laughs> when he lived across the street. <laughs> Well, I mean, he oh, may have like, I, That it. sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> I've been in the car What's the him. downside? It's just to be safe. <laughs> no, it's true. Yes, I <laughs> guess. <laughs> Sometimes I get distracted and I miss a turn or a bridge. It happens. All right. Since uh, I just got word, since we are, oh, yeah. since we started very late due to technical issues, well, we're going to, we're going to extend the stream a little longer. Just cool. so we have nice, enough time nice, nice. to uh, talk about, you know, all the, all the new feature stuff that's going in with Andy. And we just need to say a goodbye. This is a wonderful, beautiful world that we built with uh, with all our friends. Mm -hmm. A lot of memories here. Okay. Good. Not my yeah, memories, but yours. Would you help craft those? Oh, memories? don't forget to set your spawn point in case uh, we, oh, don't, we don't one shot this. Yeah, good idea. Okay. Wait, were we not going to one shot it? No, we're going to one shot it, but this, you know, just okay. in case. You always okay. err on the side of caution. So, like, Somebody baked a chicken and then pulled out a cooked chicken. Like, oh, now your chicken's uh, done. Yeah. yeah, no, we're not going to Midnight, George. That, that'd, be, that'd be crazy. All right, I've got my heel bosses ready to go. I'm ready to embarrass myself. It gets easier every time. Wait, did anybody bring a BLT? No, I did. I made sure. I was going to say, well, if we did, yeah. that would have been hilarious. Double check. Yep. Eric, you should have just said no. Make right. Chris yeah. all the way back. <laughs> go back. All right, here we go. Okay, uh, here arachnophobia we go. mode is on for those who are uh, concerned. Uh, it's just a, a nice little mochi danger dumpling. Honestly, it's the sounds that do it for me. So this boss uh, was actually so fun to make. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Just everyone did such a good job. How many of you? Oh, the music, too. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. What was that, Shadow? How many revisions did you have to go through to perfect the fight? The oh, so many. I still 
like, it's not perfect still, you know? Um, but it's definitely really good. Now, do you no, recommend taking care of the ads or ignoring them and going to the brute Um, I, I like taking care of ads Thank you. just because, like, I get stressed if they don't. Even if they don't give me, I'm like, ah, there's some spiders, you know? I wanted Andy to see that. Oh, sorry. Did it's okay. It was a, I you know, it was a perfect block mid to heal and Yo. Kind of impress people. Nice, nice. Very impressive. Oh, good stun. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I guess the juniors, right. I How think we all doing the on juniors health? are the worst. I'm doing pretty not good. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, you're fine. Everybody's fine? Good. Fine. Yeah. Go away, mama. I just want to get these ads while you're not looking at me. And when, they, when those junior old weavers were in the hedge labs, those, I had the hardest time. Those things destroyed me. <laughs> I'm like, man, these things are harder than wolf spiders. <laughs> yeah, the juniors are interesting. Because it's like you encounter them later than the normals, so technically they should be stronger, but that doesn't really make sense. I feel like you kind of underestimate them in this encounter just because they're smaller, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm constantly throwing kill bosses. I went down, there were too many ads on me. I'm coming. The oh, they're all here. Holy moly. Ah, Julia. Yep, she's looking at you. I'm fine. Else oh, I'm not fine now, though. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, bye, guys. You guys have fun fighting ads off in the corner. <laughs> oh, I'll distract the ads. Andy, you, you can revive. Yes, oh, no, ads. This guy's being sneaky. I need some help. The Ten one seconds. poison hit that got me. So if I had a pile to hide, Sam, I'd be perfect. Okay, let him, let him hit me. Come on. <laughs> Let me help, I think she's showing mercy on us right she now. Was. She was. She is. What is she doing? She's. she's oh, now she's coming. Oh. oh. No she was hiding. That was interesting. I'm gonna throw it. Oh, I can't throw it with this. Oh, she healed? I didn't know that was a possibility. We got uh, this. We got I, this. I also oh. didn't know that. Down. <laughs> Someone <laughs> down. I was. I was in the back by myself. Well, we learned things today, Andy. Oh, it might be. Was it the heal boss? It does heal creatures. Oh, really? Oh, oh that's oh. okay. Well, she healed a bunch now. I was not throwing any. Um, that might be the multiplayer scaling. It might not consider oh, down we all players. Got, we all. It doesn't count down players. Interesting. Oh. That's interesting. You learn something new every day. All right, stay, yeah. stay down so we can kill her. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Thanks for saving me. Juice. Ooh, we did it. First try. Juice for everyone. Wee. Oh, I'm out of juice. Sorry, I lied. I got we did jeans. it. We made it. Oh, I got mom jeans as well. Come so did I. I'm trying to put it on. Victory slap. Yeah. All right. I think, uh, good, yeah, good job, buddy. I'm going to. We can all agree that we were carried by Andy, right? I didn't yeah. do anything, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. You, no, you took care of the hero. ads, you revived yeah. everyone. Like, you, that was a lot of work, Andy. Good job. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to switch good. over real quick to the dev build. So for those who uh, don't want any spoilers, uh, we're going to be showing off some things uh, in the next update for the public test. You guys can see my screen, right? Uh, yeah. You're running away. Of course, as I... Oh, in, in uh, the Discord. In Discord. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, I should probably. Yes, I can. Of course, as soon as I run away, Shyla. Oh, no. It was Chris who took down Shyla. I. I, I don't know I how that happened. here with Hang a, in there. a beautiful, okay. beautiful ant club, and he comes in and whacks me in the face. I'm back. <laughs> I don't feel like that's what happened at all. Like, look at You got a mint mallet. It's like you, a. You came it's like an older sibling swinging at me, and I defended myself. And it's like I just slapped See, look, here it is again. Where's the camera? Sandwich. Look at this. No, they can't see anything. Eric, tell them to stop. Oh, geez. I'm <laughs> trying to enter the next giveaway. I'm getting slaughtered. I, I bet Andy could beat me. 
Mm, I don't it's, know. It's pretty good. I know, that's what I'm saying. Alright, we're gonna give away, while we're switching over into the build, it may take like a few minutes, we're gonna do a giveaway. Or, uh, oh, you know, I may have to oh, put it on this other screen here. It's one of these. Yeah, Puncho Mug! So let me, Yay! uh, paste reference. Boom, beautiful, look at that. I'm not thinking. Enter, exclamation point, Puncho to, uh, enter the giveaway. And again, Chris is, uh, so still he's invisible. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hey, can. Hey. I've been For practicing. This, are you driving while we're all talking and walking, watching? Yes. Yeah. So then Chris could join you, right? Yeah, he can run back in here. Oh, no, no, hey! no. Earlier, he's like, stay on your side. I'm staying. <laughs> well, don't stand behind me, but you know, you can sit at your computer. Remember to enter the giveaway to win a punch -o mug. You must be following the channel. If you are not, we will re roll. That's We've right. been doing this for a while, so just do it now, and then you'll also know when we're streaming, which is always a fun time, and we love having you here. Let me make sure you guys aren't hearing crazy alerts and people and stuff like that. People. What if I want to hear? People. <laughs> it's like Can I opt in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> you opted to people. Opt in. Cool. Yeah, that was no, a good I fight, got... you guys. It was. Yeah, it got a little dicey at the end, but we pulled. We pulled together. We did it. It all worked out. I got some cool uh, questions and stuff to get ready. Robbie has been loading me up with things to make sure Andy talks about, so this will be good. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I can't wait to let Robbie down. <laughs> <laughs> but gratefully, thankfully, you already mentioned a part of it, so it'll be good. Nice, nice. I mean, to be yeah. fair, Andy, we have set the bar really low. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, if anything, you're, you're I'm gonna have to send you some clips. Huge improvement to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, that, but I find it hard to believe. I will let Twitter know if they want to join in on the sneak peek. Now is the time. All right. Is John Cena a magician and that's why he disappears? So I'm being compared to being John Cena? Because you're a magician? What do you mean? Well, because the king it's I don't see is anything. John Cena playing on Chris's PC? Chris is John Cena? That's what I I don't know. This I mean, have you ever seen them both in the same room? Ooh. You got me there, Andy. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I can't really <laughs> can't really argue with that logic. <laughs> Bull skunk. Andy said it faster <laughs> than I could type it. <laughs> Uh, if you want to, if you want to come back in the the room here, Chris, you're more than welcome to. Good. I like being invisible, Chris. Today. Okay. Nice. I'm cozy in my office, you know. Cool. Twitter has been notified that we will be starting the sneak peek. If I yeah, I spelled sneak peek right. Cool. <laughs> that would be my greatest fear. What? Of like a lot of the stuff that you do, all of the public communications, misspelling or not having punctuation, and then the internet having its way with me. Oh, one, of the, one of my <laughs> highest engaged tweets ever was had a typo in it. And because someone was able to make a joke off the typo. Mm -hmm. Nice. Was, yeah. Got my five minutes of fame on Twitter. It was nice. You were, you were the setup. I know, right? It was all ca calculated. See, it's not even frostbite. Frostbite, you should see my house right now. My wife has put me on a board game buying moratorium right now. Uh, really? Yeah, I'm on a board game buying moratorium and a plastic robot model buying moratorium. Fair. You buy a lot of board games. To so be fair. Well, it it like it kind of oh. sucks, right? Because new stuff keeps coming out, but it's not like you get more room. So yeah. like, where does it all go? <sighs> that's the that's the problem we're running into right now. Exactly. I understand completely. <laughs> All right, we're almost we're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Showing off some hey. some cool stuff. We're letting uh, people on Twitter get a chance to come on in. Hello, all of you who have just joined us. How are you all doing on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday? Good, Shyla. Oh, thanks. That's so nice yeah, you're great. That's the the best, best Wednesday comes. ever. <laughs> oh, I'm doing awesome. How are you doing, Shyla? 
Oh, oh, great! Yeah, it's perfect. October perfect. 6th. <laughs> and Meatwad say he's doing great too? Yeah, what's going on, Meatwad? How you doing? Oh, I'm doing really good, man. How are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so awesome. It's so good. Playing some grounded? All right, all right. Yeah, well, what about you, Smeagol? What's going on? Oh, it's very good. It's precious. Wow, you guys are ridiculous. There you go. I can't do voices. Lori <laughs> smiles. It. We got arachnophobia mode on. Hold on, let me, let me double check. It was on earlier. Oh, yeah, I, I got to turn on. Thank you. <laughs> Apply, yes. Don't forget, if you have not yet and you're new and you're just joining us right now, follow our channel and then enter Explanation Mark All right, here we go. And you have a chance to win one of these little unboxings. Here. Oh, let me put the thing back up. There you go. Yeah, Explanation Mark headed your. I'm headed your way. Okay. All right, so... We are uh, on a dev build, so if you if if some jank happens, it, you know, it's okay. It's it'll be fixed. Uh, so uh, anyone, so want to talk about how we uh, changed the uh, analyze system? Sure. Okay. Oh, so oh, you know what? You might have to. I have to share my screen again. Let me. Let Can me. Your I'm I'm watching at a delay on stream. If that's okay, that's fine. Can let we me see your screen. It might be good enough. All right, let me let me pull up here um, the analyze station. Yeah, let me let me share the screen in, in Discord. That way he don't have to wait for the delay. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm watching an ad also, so that would be very helpful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All okay, right. There you go. Hopefully right, you can, you can see what's going on now. Yeah. Okay, so All right, cool beans. analyzing, um, one big change that we made is that you no longer, recipes are no longer split between pickup and analyze. Everything is handled through the analyzer now. Um, just because it was kind of muddy as to what you learned from both. So like, why not just simplify it and make it all from analyze? Um, but a problem we, we were noticing and that we wanted to solve is that um, people didn't really know where to get recipes or what ingredients were towards other recipes ahead of time until you found that actual item. Uh, a good example is like the, the tier two X, like there was no communication on where to get that until you like killed a ladybug or something like that. Um, so with the brain power system, every time you analyze something, you get kind of like brain power experience points, which will level you up. And every time you level up, you get a set of recipes unlocked um, without needing the ingredients. So it kind of pushes you towards those items without you needing to know they existed beforehand. Um, as you can see here, Eric's showing it off a little bit. At level two, you get like the ant armor set. So if you were just playing around finding ingredients on the ground um, and you didn't kill any ants yet, you would have no idea that the ant armor set exists. But now as you analyze things, you'll unlock it and go, oh, maybe I should kill some ants so I can uh, so I can make this new armor set. Yeah, and it goes, There's a lot. there's a lot of levels here. There's a lot of levels, yeah. There's a lot of items. Uh, we try to, or I try to, um, split them up kind of in a way that makes sense. But it's the first iteration of the system, so expect like a lot of tuning and a lot of moving around and stuff like that. Oh, you can't hear Andy. Oh. Well, I can't find. Oh. In, uh oh. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. We're gonna. You could keep talking, Andy. I'm gonna do something real quick. Just Chris can't hear Andy. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's see. What else can we talk about besides the brain power and the recipe unlocks? I'm pulling up some notes, some cheat <laughs> tweets. Let's see. Um, okay, well, while they're here, or while is they're everything okay on that end? Uh, yeah, just I just to had to turn. log into the other gaming PC. Sorry, you got gotcha, a little gotcha. close-up face of me. That's all right. I was just—I wanted to make sure I didn't do anything wrong. Shyla's quiet. <laughs> Boom, boosted. You got it. That's fine. Yeah, while they're doing that, um, I did see that there is some raw science economy changes. In yeah, yeah. So another kind of thing I wanted to address in this update is that like the raw science grind is kind of really, really tough for some players um or like the the discrepancy of what you can buy by just playing the game and things that you have to grind for is like a lot so we kind of made it more forgiving 
in a way where like everything that I deemed kind of necessary for progress is now really cheap at Burgle to buy. So you should basically be able to buy everything you need just by playing the game and finding kind of all the raw, raw science. Um, and then uh, the more luxury items like the sign packs and the the uh, scanners for the different things, they're, they're more expensive. They're kind of the chase goals since they're not necessary, if that makes sense. No, no, that does because it's nice because then you can get to all the stuff that you feel like you need to make your base like super cool. Like, yeah, yeah. Like the other stuff. And then you can go and you can decorate later because then that's kind of like, oh, yeah, we both built the house, but look at all these cool signs I have now. Yeah, exactly. Like Check you'll never see out. a base um, with like, you know, the oven, for example. You won't look at that and go like, man, I need that, but I can't afford it. I have to go grind for a bit to afford it. But if you see a base and you're like, that sign is really cool. I'm gonna go try to grind for that. Like, it, it's a little nicer to the player, I think. No, I wanna, no, I like. Oh, oh so yeah, we're back. We're, that that PC is having issues, so I'm gonna have to take a look at it later, or have IT take have, a look. Cool. I did have one more question in regards to the real science before we move on and stuff. Sure, sure. I did see that uh, you made some changes to Burgle's quest, and that the Alchemist quest will be removed. Right, right. So we had a Burgle quest um, that told you to analyze specific items. Um, and the original intent of, of that was to like show players like, hey, these items exist before they found them. But what it ended up being is like objectively the best thing to do is to wait to analyze anything until you get that quest, because then you get bonus raw science. Uh, and that kind of stinks. So instead I just removed that quest type and then I upped the reward for analyzing things by I think 50%. So you just get more for analyzing things off the bat and you don't have to wait around until you get that quest. Which I thank you so much for. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good example of something that like we had good intentions behind, but then it ended up just kind of making the experience worse. So like you gotta look at it and go, how do we kind of fix this? Well, and what's nice too is that these are some of the changes um, that Eric was talking about earlier that we want you guys to go ahead and restart if you feel up for the challenge because we need to see how all these changes that have been put in are actually going to affect the new play work. So yeah, the raw science, the analyzing, the brain power. I am excited to just be able to finally quantify my smarts with brain power. Like, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And that's, that's actually a, a really, really good point is that um, these kind of price changes for raw science, we can't really get any good feedback on it unless it's in a new world, because like who knows how much raw science people have stockpiled or how many of the more expensive recipes they've already purchased. So to get like a clean number on the economy and like a look to see how how well it's doing, we really need to look at new um, new worlds. Yeah, and that's not to say like after you checked out all the new stuff and then hopefully you guys give us feedback via like either on Discord or through our support channels, um, you can, yeah, just jump right in back onto your, your current save. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And there's no there's no pressure to start in the world either. If you're like, I don't really care about this, and I just want to... Holy moly. And I just want to uh, experience the, the new stuff on my old save, like, feel free. There's nothing... Yeah. You don't have to uh, give us feedback on the new changes. Just like, you know. The larva it's, wanted to it's what we're looking at. Yeah, that guy's... The larva wanted to see all your new changes. He, he scared the those. poop out of me. He came out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is that noise? Um, but yeah, also a thing I wanted to touch on, Annie, that um, certain items in the game have uh, a rarity now when you're analyzing them. Do you wanna, yeah, that's do a you good point. Talk more uh, I about forgot this? to mention. Um, so as you can see, the little exclamation mark in the corner of those items are different colors. Um, those colors represent rarity. The red, I believe, is common. Blue is uncommon. And purple is rare. And that rarity gives you different amounts of experience points when you scan them. So rare items will give you a lot more. Common will give you like the baseline and then uncommon is kind of in between. So the more you branch out and find like these rare items, the faster you can level up potentially, which is uh, so yeah, like, uh I'll analyze this common right now. Yeah. And now you can, you can skip it, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, 15 points. Uh, uncommon, let's analyze that. Here, we'll skip for funds. Brain power. Ooh, that gave 25, 25, 25 fancy. points. And then the, the this is going to be a 50 or a 35? Don't Take remember. We'll find out. Ooh. It's 50. Ooh. I feel smarter already. So now we leveled up. We could check our brain power tree, and now we have <gasps> we have access to the grub gear, the shovel, and the canteen. Nice, nice. Oh, and yeah, this 
the brain power stuff doesn't replace um, finding recipes through analyzing. It just it's just a way to fill in the recipes you might have missed, basically. Um, so as you can see, like he's already unlocked the acorn armor and the ant club, which isn't his tier um, of brain power level yet. But there's a few recipes in those tiers that he hasn't unlocked yet that he would once he reaches that level. I have a question, Andy. Yeah. How yoked can one mind be? Oh man, that's. <laughs> I don't think we've discovered so the limit yet. Okay. It could be so yoked. So yoked. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's let's move on to the. Let me load up some saves here. A whole Ooh. bunch of saves load out. Uh, let's check out the uh, new crafting stuff. <gasps> yes. Crafting stuff. No, the, the smithing machine and the, the new food recipes in the I'm oven. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know there's new crafting stuff. I know, you made them, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, did we ever roll for that winner? We did. Oh, we did? Okay, cool. Nice. Congrats. See, I think I missed I, it. Yeah, this is why I need more brain power. <laughs> Honestly, same. I totally thought we missed that. Oh, I think <laughs> I think BMAC wanted to jump in the chat to watch the stream. Yeah, you could totally jump in BMAC and, and view the stream on my screen or just maybe I could just type it out to him. I did. Yeah, I saw him join the channel and I was like, yo, special guest. But I think it was an accident. <laughs> yeah, BMAC, if you want to join and, and add things uh, here with Andy, yeah. you're more than welcome to. Dude, I love that guy. He's so smart. Yeah, and an amazing softball player. Oh, okay. <laughs> I believe it. You got it. No, it's already, it's already off, uh, Robbie. Oh, on. Okay, I read that completely wrong. <laughs> All right, so, uh, I mean, it's just, I mean, the, the, the house is not important, but um, so here now we have, uh, which one do you want to talk about first, Andy? Uh, surprise me. Okay, let's, you know, I love <laughs> food. Let's talk about food here in the oven mm -hmm. with, with the new meals. Food I'm excited about because right. like the old system basically it was really easy to kind of solve food really early just by finding a bunch of mushrooms or a bunch of acorn bits um you could live off that forever and you never really had to interact with other sources which is fine but kind of boring so we changed that a little bit now all food kind of gets classified into either a snack or a meal and a snack uh just re restores a little bit of your hunger like that's all it's useful for and that's like the easy to find stuff like acorn bits and uh, mushrooms and stuff like that. But then meals you have to craft in the oven and they're a little bit more complex and they offer you all sorts of like cool bonuses. Uh, for one, they all scale based on tier. So um, they're, they go from tier zero to three. Tier zero is just all the cooked meats. Um, they don't give you anything special, but they like technically count as a meal. So they'll activate your passive regen and stuff. Um, but then as you tear up in meals, you get different well-fed bonuses. Um, they completely stop your hunger from depleting for like uh, a pretty significant amount of time. I think tier three meals last 20 minutes in real time. Um, and then they all have well-fed bonuses. So like the spider one gives you, I think, critical hit chance. Yeah, um, spider sliders. For that, whole, for that whole time, yeah. So it's a, it kind of just a little bit more fun way to have food in the game, I guess. Uh, and, and you can still survive off of acorn bits and mushrooms if you really want to, but you won't get any of the cool fun bonuses from the meats. Also, I named them all with some help from I love, I love my Mitch loaf. and, my loaf and uh, David Benefield actually helped me with the, the nachos. I know, I know, yeah. Nachos. Mikey's going to hate it, but nachos yeah. is probably the best name. <laughs> Mac and bees is good. I like the spider slider. I think this gives us some good ideas, Shiloh. Oh, no, it's Lavang good. I can't even have some. Lavagna? Lavagna? The fungus facho. That mm -hmm. one's good. Um, and yeah, you're right. 20 minutes for the tier three. Yeah, yeah. So these, the idea behind these is they're like kind of less uh, stat-wise, they're less big buffs than the smoothies, but they last a long time. So the smoothies are like short duration, big buffs, and these are like long duration, small buffs. All right, I'm gonna, let's, let's click some, some Mac and Bs. Let's get some Boatman going, some Spider Sliders. Throw on some Mite Loaf too, man. I'm yeah, um, I need yeah, some, I, I don't need... have, I need a roasted Ooh. aphid and some Mite uh, Fuzz. Did you not bring Alfie from the last world? We don't talk about Alfie. <laughs> 
Right, yeah, and right now you don't, there's only seven, but uh, they're super easy to make, so um, expect more to be added, like, pretty much in each patch. This is just, like, a, a handful to start out, just to see if the system is working like I want it to, basically. Now, How can players do... unlock these? Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, they unlock them at Burgle in Cookbook Recipe oh. Packs. We Ooh. get cookbooks? Yeah. So each oh. chip, I think, that's probably what you're on, but... Most chips will have a cookbook recipe pack that you can unlock and get, like... I, I tried to keep the theming of the meals, like, towards the chip you purchase it off of, but, you know, there's... There's a little bit of generosity there. <laughs> and and uh, do these meals, uh, these, like, tier 3 meals, have uh, expiration like uh, normal food? They do jerky. spoil. Yeah, they do spoil, um, so you don't want to, like, stock up on all of them, but usually, or I think maybe all the time, the ingredients don't spoil, so you can just have, like, a bunch of ingredients ready to go and then bake one when you need to. Oh, minus the, the fresh Billy Hog Nuggets. Do those spoil? I think they just become regular Billy Hog, Billy Hog Nuggets. I'll double check. Okay. But I think everything else is good to go. That is not go. my intention, if that's true. Which means I just messed up some data somewhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so out of all of these, Andy, which one would you like to try in real life? You have to pick um, one. I hate that, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'd probably do the Boatman Fin Soup. Oh, just because yeah? it sounds... It just sounds it's, nice. It, does, it, sounds, yeah. it sounds flavorful, yeah. Like a nice wholesome meal, you know? Like a good broth in there. <laughs> I was hoping you'd kick something like the spider slider so I could make I, for make our real one. We could, we could do the spider slider for real, Shiloh, if you order yeah. those tarantulas okay. again. I mean, Look, Chris and I have some ideas. We got this. <laughs> I like that. Mac and bees will be a little bit harder, but. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I feel you like you have the steamer and the and venom. Bees. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds a little crazy. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and move on over to this uh, smithing machine and talk about uh, weapon upgrades. Right, so weapon upgrades are kind of cool, um, and I like them a lot, but basically you can upgrade your weapon. Uh, and if you click on, like, that Peblet Axe, uh, yep. actually, I'm not, even, I'm not even watching your stream, I'm watching the delayed version, and then uh, select it to enter the upgrade mode. Boom. Um, you can see each time you upgrade a weapon, it increases the damage and the max durability. So it, it's just kind of like an all-around nice thing that'll save you some time both in killing enemies and it'll save you some resources because you won't have to repair as much. Um, yeah, and it takes quartzite. Yeah, it takes quartzite until you hit, hit plus five. Um, so it, it's pretty easy to hit the first five upgrades. It takes a lot towards the end, but it's doable for sure. Um, All right, I ran a quartzite, but we, if we switch like over to my Stinger Spirit, which is already level five. Right, right. And then once you hit level five, you have kind of like this branching decision where you can keep increasing it with the default quartzite, um, and that'll increase the damage and durability by 15% this time for the last two levels up to level seven. But you can also change to an elemental path. I'm calling it elemental. It's actually just candy and salt. But um, <laughs> so... By using like mint or or uh... so we got mint, yeah, we, have salt, we, have we said and the spicy. We have we have yeah. not, but you can. So with this update, we're introducing salt and uh, a spicy candy variant called hot cha chas. Um, and so hey. those are other options to give you like these yeah. different elements. I think packs. I have them. I have them in here. Yeah, <gasps> some spicy shards, some salt shards, mint shards. Nice. Yeah. We, we renamed the mint uh, shard as well to keep the naming convention just so it all makes sense. And yes. then so with, with those, you can pick your pass. So what, what does fresh do when you apply it to a weapon? Fresh is a different damage type, which means it can overcome different um, defenses for enemies. So that's another big change from this update is that each enemy has like damage types that it's resistant to and super weak to. So um, experimenting with different damage types will help make fights a little bit easier. For example, like um, the Roly Poly. We spoiled that, right? I can talk. About no, yeah, we can talk about. No, that. I, put it on, I put it on Twitter. Well, we we really said image, okay. but people yeah. didn't know what it was. But yeah, we could, people uh, inferred that it was a Roly Poly. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, we could go find one uh, after all, all this stuff too. Just check it out. That's okay. I, I just wanted to make sure I didn't like blow it. Um, but <laughs> You're fine. Uh, yeah, the roly poly is like resistant to piercing damage. So, like for a spear, for example, like it'll do reduced damage to the roly poly. 
But if you upgrade it into a path that does fresh or salt or something, it'll overcome that resistance so you can still play as a spear user and not be hindered. Okay, but yeah, we got some salty here. So what does what does spicy do? Uh, it's, it's the same thing. For right now, they're just uh, damage type changes. Okay. Um, yeah. But, you know, different things in the backyard are weak to different damage types, so you'll need, like... Well, you won't need... I, I didn't want to make it, like, so oppressive that... If you encounter a creature that's strong against your damage type, it's like impossible. But it'll make it substantially easier if you have like their weakness. You want more than so one I way wanna, to solve a problem. I wanna, I wanna yeah, yeah, yeah. So taking this upgrade locks it into that. Wait, wait. Type. Are you sure you want to go fresh? I mean, the hot cha chas. You want me to hot cha cha? I think hot cha cha is All the right. new. <laughs> we're going hot cha cha. The new hotness. All right. So once you lock into a a, a candy type, you're you're locked in. Right, yeah. So yeah, at, okay, at plus cool. five, you make the choice at which path to go down, and then from there on, you just upgrade that one specific path. All right, boom. Spice it. Nice, nice, nice. All right, right on. And then, um, so you also made a change to armor types. As you can see, there's some, here, that's some fancy armor here. So we yeah, got. Yeah, so there's some new armors, first off. <laughs> Those are all of them. Um, the, the black ant armor, which is, it helps you build stun faster, mm -hmm. so um, it's actually like pretty sick in a multiplayer setting. If you're all wearing black ant armor, you can stun creatures pretty often. Because um, just, just to clarify what stun is, I see a lot of misconception about this all the time. Um, it's not a percent chance. Every creature basically has like a stun HP bar, and once it fills up, they get stunned, and then it clears, and they have to like fill it up again, and then it clears. Um, so anytime you can add stun to something, you'll just be reaching that stun state faster, if that makes sense. Um, so, so this armor set adds more stun to each of your attacks, and it'll help you reach that stun state faster. All right, right. And I notice uh, at the, on the bottom here it says heavy armor. Yeah, yeah, right. So armor is not classified in light, medium, or heavy, um, which is pretty cool, basically because in the previous iteration, there was no downside to heavy armor, which is fine, but it made it so there was kind of no upside into light armor. So a lot of people would just put on the heaviest armor to get damage resist, and then that was that. Um, but now there's like plus and minuses to both. Um, something we tried out in the last update is we increased the time it took for stamina to begin regenerating. So if you completely deplete your bar, um, it kind of hung there for a while, and then it started regenerating. Mm -hmm. And that was a test to see, like, how that felt, basically. It was like a secret test that I put in there. Um, <laughs> and then, so now, we've kind of reverted that back to what it was before last update. And then, depending on what armor you're wearing, it'll either, in heavy armor, increase it to what that new value was, or in light armor, it'll decrease it even further. Yeah, so think, if you're wearing light armor, you can just kind of yeah, like non-stop the, assault. The red ink gear is classified as light armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got... I, uh, I think it'll be pretty cool. Well, we got I hope here. it'll be pretty we got cool. some uh, Ant -Lion fancy poncho. gear here. Yeah, it looks yeah. freaking awesome. And then we got the, yeah. uh, the roly-poly roly gear over here. Yeah. So there is, um, in this update, the roly-poly and the black ant, I believe, are both heavy armors. And then the ant lion is light. There's no new medium armor, and that's kind of my fault, but... Oh, yeah, the, uh... the B is classified as medium. Yeah, I also... Okay, so the B set did change as well. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. The, the additional stun damage on bow shots is actually on each piece of armor instead of the set bonus now. And... Oh, oh the wow. The set bonus is... Trying to remember. I think the set bonus gives you a chance to slow enemy movement by 50% with bow attacks. Let me, let me equip yeah, it. Against the cripple. Yeah, so, so you can... shot. So if you go over to OS, we come down to set bonus, check that out... That might not be updated yet. Fallen shot, uh, your arrows are quite sunny, so that's not updated. Yeah, don't worry about okay. that. Yeah, anyway. this little guy, don't worry about the little guy. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it, it's a chance to slow enemies uh, when you shoot them with a bow. So it, it's more towards that, like, kiting play style that I know range players are very fond of. Um, so hopefully that's a little bit more fun to use. You want to mention the my favorite change, the spider armor? Ooh. Oh yeah, the spider armor is different now too. Um, I don't know if you have any. Uh, you know, but, let, me, um, let me do that real quick, and I don't want to show them the secrets, you know. Yeah. 
Oh, and Eric, while you're doing that, do you want to do another Xbox Game Pass giveaway? Since we have so many people here, we're going to extend the stream by some more minutes to show off some more stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I can, we, can, yeah. we can do that. So, while we're setting that up, uh, you must be following the channel. If you want to win a 30 day Xbox Game Pass key. Oh, don't don't here. mind that one. Hold on. Let me let me set it up first for you guys. Ooh, yeah, yeah, we're setting, someone we're mentioned it uh, they saw the description for the set bonus for the roly poly set, which is invincible shield. Um, mm -hmm. It gives you a chance to repair your shield when you block, not just perfect block, but all blocks. Oh, that's so cool. um, it, it should like make it less of a pain to be a tank, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. There you go yeah there you go all right boom game exclamation point game pass not poncho apologies everyone I, you know i had the giveaway on the other screen up but yeah we'll, we'll do we'll do one more key yeah, uh, sure yeah here's uh us. here's the uh, spider gear yeah so the spider armor um i removed the movement speed even though i know everybody loved it um it just didn't really make sense to me to be on like an aggressive armor set um, so instead, it just reduces the stamina it costs to attack per piece, I am so um, thirsty. which which ties into the the set bonus, which is like increased stamina regeneration. It should be like a, a very aggressive and like fun to use uh, attacker set. So like your your perfect blockers, you're not taking damage. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're putting yeah. work. All right, this is my set. Yeah, I like and there's this. there's still the. There's still the movement speed of the aphid slippers. Uh, I, I want to keep stuff like that. That's more utility to kind of one-off specific armor pieces than uh, than the ones designed for com uh, combat. If that makes sense. It gives you a great opportunity yeah. for some fashion as well and to mix and match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Eric, why do you have negative 6,000, 60,000 raw signs? You know what? <laughs> uh, you know, this is Real a dead bad. build, and I did a lot of... Uh... I did a lot of weird things, so I'm not. Sh I'm not sure. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure that's not. <laughs> no, no, yeah. <laughs> this is. Um, I think. I think when using dev tools to unlock all recipes, maybe you go into negative amount. It should not happen okay, okay. in the actual game. Okay, okay. Just, just wanted to make sure. I mean, we, we'll have, uh, you know, maybe we have Andy, or not you, Andy, uh, Adam, take a look. <laughs> but we got some new stuff here. Look at it. We got the. We got this sword up on this mount and we got a cool shield coming in we got this fancy uh two-handed sword broadsword and we got a new uh new fancy shovel new shovel so cool all right it's a lot of stuff a lot of stuff mm -hmm. i think one of the last things i want to talk about is uh the the, the molar system like these uh these oh, upgrades right. yeah 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 the player upgrades um this is something that i'm excited about uh, pretty much everything in this update, um, I've had like a written design for, for a very long time. And I've just been like, you know, waiting for the chance to put them in. Uh, so, so this update in particular is really exciting for me and I'm really happy that people are going to start playing this stuff. Um, the molar system in particular, I'm, uh, I'm super stoked for because it, it kind of, it, it gives players who aren't necessarily as good or want to perfect block as much, like a way to improve their character and kind of experience the rest of the game a little easier. But it also fills a hole that a lot of people have been wanting that I won't spoil right now until we get to the menu. All right, let, let me see what happens when you... Ooh, oh that is God. new and fancy. What? You guys... Why are you not in... a two? Listen. What are you doing with that person's Look at that. Two? All right, so we... Look at a little yogurt uh, morsel. All right, so I just wanted to show that. Man, you guys updated that quick in a day because that was not there yeah. yesterday. <laughs> That's the cool thing about this team is like <laughs> when stuff comes online, it's just like night and day. The the polish of some things, it's it's ridiculous. It's so looking at things good. from like last week. Like I was yeah. uh, positively uh, surprised because uh, that was not there yesterday, and now it just update today. So that's just wild. <laughs> <laughs> is that what teeth look like inside? All right. <laughs> Oh hey, Bert. <laughs> oh hey, Bert. So uh, pump me up, pump me up with some milk molars, yeah. Yeah. So this is the milk molar interface. Um, it allows you to upgrade all sorts of your stats. This, in particular, the one that he harvested, which was the white tooth, that gives you the blue molar. Um, these are all player individual stats. So um, when you collect one, everyone on the server and everyone that joins in the future has access to that point and can spend it individually. 
Um, so whatever you choose here won't affect other people that join the game. They'll be able to choose their own upgrades. So like if you choose max health and they're like, you're dumb, I want a max mutation instead, uh, they can do that. Uh, yeah, boom, infused. Yeah. Um, oh my and god, as, you brought that notice, noise back. <laughs> Yeah, as you'll notice, uh, this does bring up the max active mutations. By default, it's set to two now instead of three. But if you invest enough, you can get to five total, which Ooh. is uh, a huge upgrade Holy in power. Holy moly. Get it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so what, <laughs> what, what about these so group this, ones? Yeah, this is so this is the group one. There's also golden teeth throughout the backyard, um, which are server-wide upgrades. And these increase your max stack size for different <laughs> categories of items. Um, so like, you know, you can see it right there on the screen, max arrows, max consumables, and max resources. You can invest these gold molars, uh, to increase your stack size on those three categories. Oh yeah, dude. Stack size, let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, let's roll, uh, how many minutes has it been? Let's roll the winner. Yeah. Game in Crins. Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations. So, so you were just, so just uh, to reiterate what you said, uh, so everyone gets these points. So all these upgrades are individual, even the, the mega ones? Uh, no, the mega ones are server wide. Okay. So, cool. um, like, when you invest at that point in max resource size, everyone on the server no. has that max resource size increasement. Uh, no. But the other ones are per person. So, okay. uh, you, you increased your max mutation slots, but nobody else will have that upgrade until they come here and decide to also invest in them. So that means we we changed how. So when you when you first start the game, you only have two active mutations instead of three now until until yeah. you upgrade it. Correct. Yeah. And, and then, then you can get to five total. And then with the stacks, cool. like I noticed that some things only stack to five now until. Right. That is a big change that we made as well. Ten. Um, yeah. The uh, the consumables now only stack to five by default, um, which is low. But with some of the food changes, I think it won't be that like harsh. It's gonna it's gonna change the smoothie meta for sure, but um, you know I'll I'll be keeping an eye on it to see if it's good if it's bad like where to tune it from here. Yeah. Um, again, I mentioned this earlier, but this is all like first iter well not first iteration we've iterated on internally, but this is the first iteration that's seeing the public. So there's potentially a bunch of problems that will like you know be enlightened about once this hits the public. So. Yeah, um, definitely send your feedback on all these new systems and things and progression. Let yeah. us know. Send us feedback through our support channels, um, through our Discord, uh, please. Uh, but um, what exactly a is a yolk girth calcium coated vitamin for growing teens? Um, I think the inspiration was the Flintstones vitamins. Do you guys remember those? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They well, it's just like. Don't taste great. You know, a well, weird vitamin yeah. thing. I don't know. <laughs> Why are they teeth? No idea. Right. <laughs> it's because they're milk molars, and yoked girth milk molars are the popular vitamins vitamins for teens in this world. Growing it's teens. Yeah. I, I have heard that. That's true. Yeah, you gotta slurp the core and get yoked. So we got <laughs> oh this. <my> God. <laughs> And it's something you have to do. Slurp the core, get yoked. I did want to ask just for clarification for me, because listening to you talk, is it safe to say that the host is the only one who has access to set the mega morsel, the, the party wide stats, right? That is an excellent question that I do not have an answer for. Um, okay, cool. I would assume cool. that anyone can spend them, but okay. I, I can't say for sure. I guess we'll find out. All right, that's, that's some cool. good feedback we're yeah. looking for right there. Yes. Um, I think that's all I wanted to cover today, um, but... Oh, Rob, I, Robbie said anyone can do it. He just mentioned any, anyone, anyone, can, anyone can invest thank in you, the Robbie. stack size. Okay, thank you, Robbie. Thank you, Robbie. But what, I think um, maybe we'll check out... Do you, uh, do you have a save with a smoothie station? Because I know um, Andy mentioned smoothie stations earlier, and I do know that their UI has gotten a little bit of updates. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can just pop one in real quick. There is also a new smoothie base if you want to talk about that. Oh, yes, please. Yep. Let's, there's there's we some will. perk changes we could talk about. You can oh. show off some of the armor set bonuses. There's a lot of stuff in this update. Actually. Big update. I think it's some time. We were late. So, I mean. Yeah. Sorry to give away time. Let me, yeah. let me just pop one down. You can blame me for being late and then blame the wonderful Andy here for all this information that we want to continue talking to him. All right. Let's check it out. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, recipe. Is this what we're looking at? Yay. What are we looking at, Annie? Uh, Robbie, what are we looking at? <laughs> Robbie? Robbie, pull out a joint <laughs> Discord and talk about it. <laughs> no, no, I think... Uh, yeah, there's that uh, free space the Yeah, I, you're going to need um different bases so you can see, like, the real... It's like that whole... Oh. I'm pointing at my screen, but, like, no one can see that. Um, <laughs> the, the grub goop, that area, I'm pretty sure is, like, the main focus of the UI changes, where it'll, like, explain what that base is and what it does now. Um, so the grub goop, obviously, is a normal smoothie, and it has no bonus effects. It's just, like, the default normal. Oh, you know what? Let me, let me uh, do some studio magic real quick. Ooh, put, give yourself a gum nugget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The new smoothie base, gum nuggets. Yeah, <laughs> we can show that off. And that way they can see a little bit of that. Okay. Uh, and then for all of you who are new and you maybe missed something that we've talked about, whenever the test does go live, we will have patch notes. So you'll be able to go ahead and review all this on your own or just check out the VOD because we will keep it up. Yeah, so now that UI element, you can see there's multiple things that you can tab between. Um, and the gum nugget is a new smoothie base that makes sticky smoothies that the effect durations last twice as long. Mm. Um, I know that's something that people have been wanting for a while. And uh, I've been looking for kind of like a way to sneak it back in with a with a smoothie base. And Robbie, the genius, um, suggested gum because it kind of just makes sense since there's all those like wives tales about if you swallow gum, it'll be digesting for years. You know? Like seven so, years, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, <laughs> it just kind of makes sense. So. Uh, yeah, that, that's a way that you can use smoothies with double the duration. It also augments the the default smoothie to apply a heal over time on top of the uh, the normal um, HP amount recovered. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's a little bit interesting. There you go. It's basically an improved bandage. Um, and then uh, the, the the classic muscle sprout. Classic muscle sprout, which doubles the uh, the health bonus from initially drinking the smoothie. Great for in combat use. Nice. Okay, wait, wait. I do want to go back to one thing you just said recently. Sure. Yeah. Gum? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's gum there's in the backyard now. Um, Ooh. Primarily, it's stuck, like, underneath things, if that makes sense. Um, I like, like that. That's... Yeah, and... it's a nice little tidbit for people to find her if Eric wants to show it off. Oh, over here? Yeah, I did get the, asked the if... picnic table? Yeah, and also I did see if you could show off maybe a roly poly. Yeah, you know what? Let's. Ah. Oh, if I go to the recipe tab, Robbie's like stealth, yeah, st yeah. stealth Robbie, chiming in, you know? Robbie also mentioned that uh, you should go to the recipe tab. All right, I didn't learn a lot of recipes. I'm sorry, Robbie. <laughs> That's all right. Basically, it shows like the the amount of ingredients you have now. Um, you don't have to like kind of just know what the recipe is and then fill in the blanks. You can. Uh, Sick. Very, do, very nice. Right yeah, 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 Robbie's a genius. But I think, I think we should end the stream. Um, while I am working my way over to our little crustacean friend, uh, we can open up some questions if you guys have any questions for Andy. Oh no, floodgates. And then Eric, you can fly, right? Yeah, but you know. I can. Okay. Yeah, we want to see what's what's new on the ground. Cause now look, the caution tapes move. Da 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 da. No, it's there. I lied. <laughs> I'm a liar. No, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're still <laughs> making like pretty huge changes throughout this whole public test um thing. So I think we decided to leave the caution tape oh, there until it's over. That. Cause like, you know, a marker. yeah, it's it's probably gonna change a lot through this. Uh, this time period of the public test realm, which oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah that's that's a good point, Andy, because uh, the team is still actively working in these new areas. So um, it's not advised that you build here, but if you want to build here, knowing that it's uh, things that are going to change in the backyard, then then go for it. It's always just like a cautionary uh, warning. Like we're not going to prevent you from doing it, but if you do it and then you know a hill appears inside your face, like please don't be mad. We, we tried to warn you. <laughs> Let's see. Our caller is supposed this? to be a, a little friend out here. There oh, is. There is. In the back. Oh. I think. All the way back there. If not, I know where another one is. Cool. 
Look at this, we can finally reach the fence real easy. All this grass that we can pluck. I'm gonna look for some moving grass. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, and we're taking questions. So if you guys have any, feel free to put yeah, in. Yeah, Charlotte just... or Chris, hey, if you want to call yeah, them Hey, out. Andy, here's a question. Yeah, yeah. Are the individual sure, sure. players' stat upgrades able to be reset? They are not able to be reset, um, no. at least at the moment. Um, that could could happen in the future, but the intent is that eventually you'll get all of them. So um, it is it makes sense that you'd want to reset them if you like make a bad choice um, while statting them up. But eventually, you will be able to invest all the way into all of them. So, all right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fly over to the to the next area. Here's yeah. a here's a fun one. We'll see we'll see what you say here. Okay. Uh, do you take molar vitamins to keep your neck yoke enough to hold up your massive brain? <laughs> My brain's so small. <laughs> Let's see. I am seeing a few people ask about mounts. I do want to address that. Uh, while we don't have plans currently right now, it is something that the team is out. investigating, so you don't know what could happen in the future. Um, so if you want to mount stuff, keep suggesting it so that way we can keep keeping it on the top of our list. I saw a good question. Um, will mint respawn? And uh, yeah, so I the mint in the anthill now guarantee respawns every, I think, eight days, maybe six. Um, so that's like a constant source. But then also with these new biomes, um, there are many new locations where mints and uh, hot cha-chas and salt will like spawn on the regular. Um, so it won't really be like this holy grail, grail resource anymore. It'll just be kind of like this thing in the yard that you can pretty consistently acquire. Nice. With um, uh, the stack size changes, what happens to existing stacks? Do they get split up or will stuff get deleted? Um, I think we, we tested this and I should know the answer. Um, you won't lose anything. Either it works fine and won't update until you withdraw them. Eric, turn around. Or it populates them out of your chest. I actually don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's the first one. I'm pretty sure the stacks will stay until you try to manipulate them, and then they'll try to split. Yeah, I saw a black ant, and he walked by. But you won't. You, you shouldn't lose oh. anything. A little, um, little black ant. Yeah. Yeah. And where are we right now, Eric? Oh, we are. It looks like to be where the garbage is taken out. Ooh. Oh, hey, oh, buddy. I hear an ant. Crash Yay! zone. Little black ant there. Um. I saw a question about uh, if do we have any partnerships with any content creators? We do not, uh, but we do love having content creators join us on our dev streams here. Yes. Well, you discovered a flavor drink. <laughs> yep. I do. I do see a question. Sword mutation finally. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, but also, all of the kind of weapon class based mutations have changed pretty significantly. They no longer just increase your damage. They all do something unique based on the weapon type. Give me a second, um, I, I don't want to go that. super into that right now, but um, it'll be in the patch notes, and I will be monitoring it heavily to see how it, is, it performs and how it's perceived and like where to iterate on it from there. There it is. Hi, little buddy. There he is. Holy poly. Man, I remember you asked me day one, or like, what kind of bugs do you want in this game? And I immediately said roly poly. Dude, funny story about the roly poly is um, we actually, towards the beginning of development, we had him made, and he's just kind of been like, you know, sitting in the dugout, ready to go. Well, not ready to go. Like, we still had to do a lot of work to uh, to get him working. But, like, we had the base of him just taunting us. Like, ah, oh, come on. You know you want to put me in, coach? Um, <laughs> so it's it's great that we finally got to. <laughs> They're exactly. just sitting on the bench waiting to be Animate called. Animate like, exactly. every leg? Um, all the eggs, are, all the legs are animated, yes. My goodness, Zach. Zach is a, an animation god. Zach is a treasure. Yes. I'll say it every and time his name is brought up. Would you also say that because we are near the trash can, that is why we're seeing it labeled Yeah, why, sickly why is he so sickly? sickly? Right, so this guy is sickly because he like hangs out in the wrong neighborhood, basically. Um, he's, <laughs> he's, he's obtained the trash sickness, if you will, um, and he's like mm -hmm. not at his peak strength. Um, basically, the peak strength of the bully, I want to be very strong, and the player doesn't really have the tools to 
fight that at the moment, so the compromise is to make them sickly for now. <laughs> I'm really worried about what a full health roly poly is capable of. Let's see. Let's, let's try, see. Let's try out my spicy okay. spear. Let's, let's try yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> this is. Yay, look at it. It's so oh, cute. <laughs> Eyes rolled up in defensive mode. You won't oh, yeah, be able to do damage to him in that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so the Rolly Poly has like some cool moves. Um, oh, I think he's finding ants now. Help ants! Yeah, yeah they're helping you out. Get them. Um, he's got a lot of ball based moves. Um, oh, wow, that's a nice attack. He's got a sweep attack right here. Um, and then he's that, that move you saw earlier, he's got that defensive roll up where uh, he, he gains a lot of damage <laughs> resistance and he'll also. Oh. Well, you know, it's, they're, they're tough. They're, they're, they're yeah, tough. Yeah, yeah. Well, leave even the rest of the fight for the even with my fight. plus five spicy spear, it, it, it'll, it it'll take enough. a while to yeah. uh, to fight him. I think. <laughs> Good fun. Oh, well, that is so cute. I think awesome. I think this that is a perfect spot to wrap things up here. Um, let me. I know Master Nun's gonna have a great time with bug fights. Oh yeah. Um, Shala. Yes, Eric. Why don't you let you know our friends where they can get this fantastic game? Yes. Hello, all you new shiny happy people. And then hello, all our amazing regulars. For those of you who have not played Grounded and you are interested, you can actually play Grounded through Xbox Game Pass on both your console or PC. Xbox Game Pass is a great subscription we're subscribing to because you not only get Grounded, but you get access to hundreds of other games, even some day one exclusives, which is a great bonus. If you would like to own it and you're waiting to play until, you know, later down the line when we have 1.0 out, my recommendation would be to buy it now while the price is $29.99 through either Steam or the Windows Store. This is not going to be the forever price. Um, so if you want to just own the game, buy it now. If you want to own it and play it when 1.0 is out, buy it now and just wait. You won't be disappointed. It'll be great. Otherwise, Xbox Game Pass. Just check it out. It's fun. Back to you, Eric. Awesome. Thank you, Shada. And uh, again, Andy, thank you so much for coming on and, and let everybody know about all the new features that are coming into the, the next update. Um, it's a great time. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. I love having you on, buddy. And I just I love being on, but I get nervous. So. <laughs> no, you're doing great. You're great. You're yeah. speaking and mannerisms. You don't, you don't even say um or pause a lot. You're just, you just flow. It's, you're a great natural speaker. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks. Yeah. It's that big brain that you say you don't have. I know. <laughs> so small. Uh, and then I guess we have one more announcement to let everybody know. We do? Yeah, we do. That instead of waiting till 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 o'clock Eastern, the public test is now available for everyone to check out right now. So you guys could go in, check out all the new content. It's, uh, it's live on Xbox, Windows 10, PC, and on Steam. Uh, Sam, if you mind, you could post some links on how people can join the flight or into the beta build for the update. You guys can check it out right now. Uh, and yeah, please, please let us give us all the feedback. Like, let us know everything. Um, we have specific feedback channels for the public test in the Discord. Uh, we'll open up those channels right now so everyone can uh, put all their feedback. And if you are content creators, you're more than welcome to create videos, stream, live stream the game, do whatever you want. It's it's good to go. So, yeah. Yay! Oh yeah, I, have to, I got the button. Yay! You guys can't hear it though, it's just me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you guys for again so much for joining us. Uh, this game wouldn't be where it is today without uh, you know the community. You guys have been fantastic of letting us know what you guys like and dislike about the game and what you like to see in it. So uh, we will be back next week. Uh, we will be playing on the PTS. We'll have a, a, a content creator guest on the channel. So uh, keep, keep your eyes open for that. And as always, thank you guys again. Uh, stay safe and stay grounded, and we'll see you next time. All right, bye everybody. Bye. We'll Thank see you. Bye. Have, have a great fun. day. Thanks, to little Chris. Oh, we're looking at Chris's screen. There we go. Oh, good. Give us all the feedback. We want all the feedback. Yes. Everything. Come all, on. all the things. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 It's credits time. Credits time.
his credits time you ask for the credits now we're showing them to you what you can see up on the screen now are the names of the people that made the game you see them as they scroll up the screen like that take a good look baby try not to react because we're watching you through a little camera in your television wait oh, 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 oh. never mind I gotta ask you not to worry about